And it, it's happened. I've become one of those priests who puts videos on YouTube in front of his bookcase. But lest you be deceived and think I'm really intelligent, I have in my collection Bible infographics for kids. So you might not want to take me too seriously. <laughs> I'm reminded as we are in the midst of this coronavirus of something that happened last Tuesday when this all sort of happened, when all of a sudden we canceled our masses and confession and adoration time uh, on Tuesday nights in place of what we're doing now. And I remember what a parishioner said to me. She said, Jesus sees your suffering and he's suffering with you. And those words every day since that last Tuesday have brought me great consolation. Christ sees your suffering and he suffers with you. In our psalm today, we hear God is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord hears the brokenhearted. He is close to us. But how exactly during this time of Corona do does is God here with us, here with our broken hearts that may be broken because of insecurity about our jobs, that may be brokenhearted because we can't do what we want to do. Or maybe we're brokenhearted because we can't do our jobs or we can't provide for our families. Whatever it is that makes us brokenhearted, the good news is Christ is there with us. How precisely? Well, I think we're seeing it. We're seeing it in people who are reaching out to others, people who are calling others. Yesterday, I got a call and <laughs> my first question was, did you mean to call me or did you butt dial me? Having a name that starts with an A, that often happens. But I've seen it in people just reaching out and people sending text messages and people reaching out to their parishioners and priests reaching out to their parishioners and people calling, people they wouldn't normally call. In this moment of difficulty, we are Christ to each other. We are the ones who help heal the brokenhearted, who hear the brokenhearted by being Christ for each other. That's our hope and what we're doing here in these videos is that it's our small way of reaching out to you and saying, hey, you're not alone. We're here with you. We're suffering with you. What a great reminder of Christ who is with us always and who suffers with us always and who hears and heals the brokenhearted.